Hello and welcome to everybody on my YouTube channel Cloud Fitness. So today I am going to talk about a really cool feature in Azure that is life cycle management. So as you already know that Azure Blob Storage is the most commonly and most widely used storage in Azure and we are going to talk about how we can manage the life cycle of data stored inside Azure Blob. Before moving on to this, I would like to explain you about the three access tiers in your Azure storage account. So whenever you create an Azure storage account, you have the options to choose from hot, cool and archive. So I'll go quickly go to the portal and show you where we can do that. So if you see, uh, this is when you create a storage account, right? This is the second page. Once you mention the name, the subscription, the resource group, you are actually taken to this particular tab of advanced. And this is the place where you actually define the access tier. So right now, uh, this is for Gen 2. And you can see that it, it has these two options for hot and cool. So this is basically where you define uh, what kind of access level you are going to uh, have on the data. So when you talk about the hot, this basically has, uh, you know, high storage cost and this basically holds the data which you are going to access a lot. So uh, for, let's say you have a daily load and you are trying to access the data daily that it comes under hot access tire category. When you talk about cool, this is a storage account where you are going to access the data but not so frequently. So let's say you have to access the data once a week. In that case, it becomes your cool storage account and cool uh, storage account basically has a low storage cost but high data access cost. And similarly, you have your archive storage account. When I talk about archive, the storage cost is low and the data is completely kept offline. And that is the reason your data access cost is really high when it comes to archive. So let's go ahead and I'll actually tell you that this life cycle management capability in Azure that uh, allows you to have a control over uh, the movement of the control over the policy in which you can manage your data to be uh, either in a hot tire or in cool tire or, or even in archive tire. So these are the this is the capability which is being offered by the lifecycle management in Azure Blob Storage. It does not incur any charge. So it is basically a free of charge service and it is available in all Azure regions for your, uh, you know, Gen 2 accounts, for your Blob Storage account, for your premium Blob, Blob Storage accounts as well. So let's go ahead to the portal and I'll quickly show you how you can enable it. So you can see when you have a storage account created, if you go on the left hand side, you have an option of lifecycle management. You can, let me zoom in for you. Yeah. So there's, this is an option of lifecycle management. You can go ahead and click on this particular option and you will be able to see that you have an option to add a rule. So this, through this rule, you can actually configure to uh, manage your data in these three tiers. So let's click on add a rule over here and see what comes next. So here we are. So here typically you have to add a rule name. So let's say rule one. So this rule, uh, if I want to apply to all blobs in my storage account, I just have to click on this particular option. If I have to choose from block blob or append blob, I can go ahead and choose that. Uh, any subtype I want to choose, I can go ahead and choose this as well. And now let's leave it to default and then click on next. So this is the if and then uh, block basically. So uh, let me zoom in again. So when I talk about this uh, last modified, so let's say 30. So in case my blob storage has not been modified from the last 30 days, then I want to uh, move it to the cold storage. Right. So this is the condition that I'm trying to give. And this is how uh, you can actually and then I can quickly go ahead, go ahead and click on the add option over here. And this will actually add a rule that if my blob has not been updated from the last 30 days, then it will move it to the cold storage. Now, let's say if my blob has not uh, I, like, let's say I want to, you know, archive, I, I, I want to archive the storage. 
I want to uh, move my data to the archive storage account. So let's say I keep it as 90 that my data uh, if uh, you know my blob has not been updated for more than 90 days then I want to archive that. So in that case you can go ahead and click on this particular option move to the archive storage and also if you want to delete the blob you can go ahead and delete the blob and set the rule for it and this rule will typically learn every uh, run uh, run every day now if i go back to the first tab of details now let's go ahead and click on limit blob with fil filters so if i click on this limit blob with filters i would be selectively able to choose the blob i want to apply the rule on so if i go ahead and click on the base blobs i have the same condition uh, so this was the condition I gave just now and if I go ahead and select I can provide a prefix I can provide a prefix which will actually go and filter my blob based on the condition that I provide right so it will selectively apply the rule to that particular blob inside my storage account right so this is what I wanted to share with you guys today regarding how we can uh, have this life cycle management rule applied to our blob storage do let me know in the comment section if you would like to see any other videos as well on any other topic and also thank you so much for watching this thank you so much